Today, we're gonna change the look of the Century Farmhouse. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna completely change the look outside. Maybe a little bit of curb appeal, maybe a little bit of style, but it's gonna be awesome, so stay tuned. How you doing guys? Chad here. Welcome to another episode of Chronicles of a Farm Say Start up here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Got all the other stuff going on at the farm. We'll have the barn cats in training out today. We'll have Molly out today. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. I'm still working on a bunch of projects. I'm not ready to show it to you yet, but it's going to be good. So, appreciate you watching. Enjoy the show. Don't forget to click that subscribe, pound that like for me, please. And let's get into it. I don't know where all the pets are. Where's the two barn cats? Where's my dog? Molly! Hey, come here! Come here! She's not coming. <laughs> Stormy! Yikes, where's everybody? They're like leaving me all alone to do the chores by myself. Stormy! Okay, it's all me. How you doing, girl? Oh, there's Smokey! Smoke! Molly! You came to join me! Welcome to the party! Where's Stormy? Ah, uh, where's Stormy? Stormy! Smokey! Stormy! How you doing, kiddo? Ah. I'm gonna put it in here, okay? Smokey! Come on, buddy! There you are! There you are! There you go, guys! How you doing, Elvis? You want me to return you to sender? <laughs> Whoa! Is that a sneeze? Is that a sneeze, Elvis? Return to sender! As you just saw guys, I just took out all those little pults. Um, it's getting a little bit too tight inside that homemade brooder area there. Um, there's too many chickens in there. And I don't have my custom ultimate chicken house built yet because I'm too slow. But 
They're okay. They're okay. They're uh, they're big enough. They're big enough that they can stay with the Leghorns here. There's only four Leghorns. So, and Leghorns are pretty docile. But uh yeah, pretty fun, eh? <laughs> they, they, they all want to go back in there. So now, now this area just has these guys. Oh, that guy snuck back in. That guy snuck back in. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Get back. Oh my gosh. Okay, I better block that crack. Stormy, you scared of all these pults? Huh? You okay, girl? You can make it? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Stay up there! Smokey, you okay, buddy? You're not too scared? Let's go. Those Rhode Island pools, they're just gonna have to acclimatize themselves. And hopefully these leghorns don't bug them too much. They're just sniffing them out right now. They all look good, look safe. I'll keep an eye on them. I gotta get some water and food for those other chicks in there. And we got more chicks in the hatcher, guys. We got more black leghorn coming and more light Sussex coming. So exciting times here in the chicken barn. I need to get my butt moving on my new chicken house. But I've been working on my veggie garden. That's been, ta that's been taking up all my time, guys. Hopefully I'll have a video soon. Honestly, it's a long process. And if the Rhode Islands are sitting on the eggs, I gotta kick them off because I don't want them doing that anymore. I found a whole bunch of rotten eggs and it wasn't good. So I think that's a lesson learned from me. I screwed that up. I shouldn't have let them sit on the eggs. Um, because I took the eggs and then I candled them and they were pretty rotten. My wife opened it up and it was just a rotten egg. So it probably started to grow an embryo and then boom, died. And then the chicken's still sitting on it. So I don't know. I don't want to do that right now. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. I said excuse me. Excuse me. Stormy, excuse me. Stormy, get out of here. Four eggs so far today, guys. And they're beautiful eggs. Beautiful eggs. Look at these eggs. They're just amazing eggs. Big, clear, no dirt. Awesome. Doing smoke? Why are you scratching at the cardboard? Uh, why are you scratching at the cardboard? Uh. So guys, I do know that you're not supposed to be putting these kind of pults in with the big birds. Um, but I kind of got no room right now. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a problem. So what I did is I have one feeder with grower food in it, and then I have the old feeder for the leghorns with the layer feed in it. Maybe the leghorns will slow down if they eat too much of the grower because there's not enough stuff in it to help them lay eggs. But it is what it is. You know, I, I, the timing is off and I need to get this chicken house built. Once I have the chicken house built, I'll be fine. Because when you guys see this chicken house, you'll understand how it's gonna be done. Molly, you coming to see the ducklings? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hello, ducklings. How are you guys? You okay?
Did you see that, guys? My training's paying off. She came in. She checked these eggs on the ground. She checked those eggs over in that nest. She walked over there. She checked the eggs in that nest. And then she walked over here and she checked that egg. She's good. I'm quite confident now that she won't be stealing any eggs. So, my training's paying off. I'm sad to say that these little peepers are gonna be gone soon. <laughs> okay, little chungus. So soft. We hatched out 10 ducklings, guys. And I sold off four already. There's six left in the brooder there. And I'm sad to say that I got two more sold today. And later on today in the evening, there's four more sold. That'll be all six gone. And I won't have any more ducklings left. But the good news is I got chicks hatching right now. Whoa, this guy's gonna fly. Look at his little wings. Look at his little wings. Fly like an eagle to the sea. Molly, what are you looking for? Huh, I know you really want one of those eggs, but you're doing good. Hey, Molly, good girl. Good girl, Molly. I love you, kid. This laneway going down to the drive shed. My neighbor dug it all up for me, about 10 inches, oh, maybe eight inches. And then we put fresh gravel. It's a three quarter crushed gravel. It's supposed to compact really good. And I don't know if you remember or not, but in the spring, this was all muck. It was so muddy, I was slipping and sliding. My tractor was getting all stuck in the mud, it was bad. So I'm hoping this solves the problem. Look at this guys, look at this. See that plant right there? That's a rhododendron, very beautiful, so awesome. It's getting full sun now because I got rid of these ugly trees. The trees are no good for the foundation of the house guys. This is a century farmhouse. It's 105 years old. And those roots, man, they're just destroying the, the foundation, the basement. So completely changes the look though, eh guys? Look. Wow, it's a lot of work, a lot of work. I didn't even show you guys all the work, but just to limb these cedars, you know.
Holy smokes, that's a tiring job. But it's looking good, folks. I can tell you, it's looking good. Yeah, we got it all done. We got Patriot Hostas planted. We got Dicentra planted, which is also known as Bleeding Heart. Very beautiful, good for sun and or shade. We got Annabelle Hydrangeas with these big, huge, white heads of like white balls, like big, they're the size of my head. Very nice. And then I got it on each side, guys. So we did one on this side, and then that's the front of the house there. We got one on this side, and then one on that side. It's looking good. Doesn't it look so much better with those trees gone? Imagine all the roots were so ingrained into the foundation and it's a stone foundation because the house is 105 years old. Built in 1915, this farmhouse. And then shade, giving too much shade to the house, A, eh? and too much shade to the garden. Now look at it, oh man, it's looking good, I must say. Completely satisfied with it. Because of that, guys, I'm calling it a day. Appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the transformation of this 105 year old century farmhouse. It's pretty cool. The barn cats are here keeping me company. Look, they're stormy, they're smoky. Molly's over here wanting me to play ball. Look, she's playing with her ball, but maybe I better give them a little play time right now. So I'm signing off guys. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to click that subscribe, pound that like, and take care guys.